Ladies and gentlemen, gather around. I would love to share with you a story. Once upon a time in 19th century Germany, there was the book. Now during this time, the book was the king of storytelling. It was venerable. It was ubiquitous. But it was a little bit boring. Because in its 400 years of existence, storytellers never evolved the book as a storytelling device. But then one author arrived, and he changed the game forever. His name was Lothar. Lothar Megendorfer. Lothar Megendorfer put his foot down, and he said, Genug ist genug. He grabbed his pen, he snatched his scissors. This man refused to fold to the conventions of normalcy and just decided to fold. History would know Lothar Megendorfer as, who else? The world's first true inventor of the children's pop-up book. For this delight and for this wonder, people rejoiced. They were happy because the story survived and that the world would keep on spinning. Lothar Megendorfer wasn't the first to evolve the way a story was told, and he certainly wasn't the last. Whether storytellers realized it or not, they were channeling Megendorfer's spirit when they moved opera to vaudeville, radio news to radio theater, film to film in motion, to film in sound, color, 3D, on VHS, and on DVD, there seemed to be no cure for this Megendorferitis. And things got a lot more fun when the internet came around. <laughs> because not only could people broadcast their stories throughout the world, but they can do so using with what seemed to be an infinite amount of devices. For example, one company would tell a story of love through its very own search engine. One Taiwanese production studio would interpret American politics in 3D. <laughs> and one man, one man would tell the stories of his father by using a platform called Twitter to communicate the excrement his father would gesticulate. And after all this, everyone paused. They took a step back. They realized that in 6,000 years of storytelling, they've gone from depicting hunting on cave walls to depicting Shakespeare on Facebook walls. And this was a cause for celebration. The art of storytelling has remained unchanged, and for the most part, the stories are recycled. But the way that humans tell the stories has always evolved with pure, consistent novelty. And they remembered a man, one amazing German, every time a new storytelling device popped up next. And for that, the audience, the lovely, beautiful audience, would live happily ever after.